Okay, we have difficulty because some numbers are missing. We need to sustain. Now we think about numbers like our tools, the toolbox. The numbers then act as a tool. The postman uses your wife's place. Okay? Now, what is 5F? A process and a method for creating and maintaining a safe, orderly environment. Uh, Arrangement. Clean, neat, high performance workplace. A, condi uh, a condition, discipline, or an integral part of the culture, which is continuous improvement. You know the meaning of culture, I believe? Continuous improvement. No, what's the meaning, actual meaning of culture? Culture is continuous. No, culture is a bowl of rice with a chopstick. Try to get the right slice in the bowl. This is what you mean in the Japanese language. To get the rice, the last slice in the bowl. And Kaizen, I can explain it, there's two ways for improvement. Kaizen and innovation. God bless my father's soul. He told me I was young. If I climb, I climb up the ladder more than one step at a time, I can get up quickly. But if my foot slipped, fall down and break my neck. This is an uh, sort of innovation, big steps. Kaizen is little step. You can you walk slowly until you complete it. You don't have the margin for falling or begging, making a big mistake, just you the whole business. And this is the different equipment. Okay? Now the five S. So, segregate and disregard. Set in order, arrange and identify. Shine, clean and inspect daily. Standardize, revisit frequently. Sustain, motivate to sustain. Housekeeping is only small subset of five essays. Now, let's talk about five essays. How many of you sat in the mother kitchen and admired how organized the kitchen? Our mothers, that this is one mine, they are the top lean people in the world. When you want to do a cup of tea, you know exactly where's the coffee or where's the tea, where's the sugar, which drawer you open, you find your teaspoon, which cup you open, you know where's the cup. And you never run out of sugar coffee because she visually put a uh, mark on a on a board or something. Remember, remind our dad when you go shopping to get the coffee or the tea or the sugar. With this all, we live it every day. But unfortunately, when we go to work, we will leave everything behind. If we use the same techniques, this charge and continuous improvement and lean. It's the same thing at home. We live it every day and we do it every day. But for some reason, when we go out of our houses, we close the door, we forgot everything we do. And I'm sure all of you, you work with ladies, they help their mother in the kitchen and everything. And really, today, when you go back home, look, sit down in the chair, have a cup of tea, and think what I just said, and look how organized their kitchen. And come and tell me if I'm wrong. I'm sure all your mom would be in broad road because they are right. Okay? Now, why having five S's for them? Remote employee satisfaction. In every standard operation. Because if everything in the right place, when you want to get something, you know exactly where you can go and get it. You don't waste time going around different boxes, different things to find what you need. Okay, promote safety. I don't know in Jordan, in when I was working in aerospace and other companies, safety is number one. You cannot do anything to put the employee at risk. Because for us, happy worker, productive worker. Now you go see to you go to many people companies, you see them, oh I don't want to be here. 
We spend most of our time in our life at work. And if we don't organize our work as something we like to be in, our spirit is not there. We're not going to be productive. You just do it just oh, oh, as we just we get a paycheck and that's it. But the problem is we don't, we don't think if this company didn't make money, I'm not going to have a check in that I'm not going to have a role. Because, you know, the companies cannot run without us, the people who do the work. Because they cannot produce, they cannot develop, they cannot do whatever. We are the important, we are the key. The, as I say, if we go to measure in the army, we lead the soldier to war. If the soldier, they don't believe in, it, in the major, they're not going to put their life at risk for him. But they believe he will be there for them, he will supply everything they require, bullets, food, water, whatever. They will be very productive. They will stand and they will win the war for them. And this is very important. And I think you, you learn in the leadership process, I think. I'm not sure. Never you perfect quality. If everything clean, everything in the right place, you shouldn't have any problem with your quality. You can control quality, nothing is hidden. Now, enable waste identification. Now, when we done the process mapping, we identify the waste, which is motion. And if you look at your uh, sheet, you have different columns when you put the time. Value added, non-value added, waste. Yes? Now, now the time you put for motion, in which column are you going to put it on? Exactly correct. The only two things will be in the value added. What is it? No. Same term. Operation. Not process operation. Different. Okay? This was adding value. We go in the water to sell the shampoo. Okay? Now, even visual control, visual control, we spoke about it earlier, but I don't know if you can or not, about your mom, so you know exactly how many coffee she has in her jar, or we see her jar with a side glass on the side, so you know how much drop, then we she put the list, when somebody, or when she's going shopping, you go and get coffee to replace the one that can be consumed. And visual measurement the same. You put a picture, the easiest way is visual. Now imagine in here you have a warehouse. Okay? If you're gonna go every time to go around and count every single one of the items in there, it's gonna take you down this time, and you're not gonna add value. It's taking your time counting instead of doing actual job, replenish really your requirement in your stuff. But when, if you have it here in front of you, and you have a red line, you put maximum quantity, should be five boxes. Minimum quantity, you need to know your work, you work out your lead time, you set an order, you take four weeks, you need to make sure you have four weeks of stock in the minimum, until the replenishment arrives. Because last thing you want to do, you want to stop your production line. Because time is money. I remember once the ship, when I was working at Airbus doing the stringers for the wind, all uh, material, which is aluminium, aluminium 6.624, especially in aluminium, it came from America, the mill. And we had, the ship had a problem in the sea, it was delayed three days. Our factory ran 24 hours a day. Seven days a week. Never stop. Imagine 24 hours, the cost of the machine without the employee, the cost of the machine cost the company per hour 120 pounds. There's two machines, which is 100, uh, 240. And these machines, they produce a meter of component every 18 minutes. When you calculate all, you work out the amount of meters 
we lost we lost about two sets of aircraft which cost millions. When the company lost millions because the ship had a problem, we didn't have enough stuff in the warehouse to do with us. Which is time is very important. Like I tell you another time when I which when I done my masters, I done my project in the industry for a company called Iman. And the, the manager, the project manager was with me on the course studying. Uh, 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 that's what it is to do. The problem of course is not going to talk to you. My MSC, my magister. Okay? Now, we talk about the problem they have. I used to work in the industry, supplies, with the university we used to have. Now in here, I help all the people incubator, the industrial link. I used to do that for our university, in the UK for all the other United companies. And he told me about the problem. I said to him, can I come and have a look at it? I went into the factory, I looked at the process. I said to him, it's easy. He said, what do you mean? We've been working on it for three years, we can come to the solution. I said to him, I want to put the process in the control on the machine, which is a probe. I don't know if any of you see the probe, touch the sugar probe. Anyway, the all manufacturers should see them. But I know that our university we will have that technology. That's all. Yes. We will have that. Now, he said you can't put it on there because the machine, the way it moves, is sliding it, first of all, to the part, move, move through the bullet, and only the tool blends in and out. I devised a uh, method measurement. The machine set up time was 120 minutes. Component. They have nine variations. To supply the need of production, they run three shifts. Five days a week, two shifts on Saturday. When I took it over, I reduced it from 120 minutes to two minutes. And I made it closely. The machine did it itself. Nobody interfered with it. The machine, when I finished with it, was working on a day shift. Three days a week, you get more than they require. You, you know the total cost saving. The project, when they were doing it, was a public paper plan. The engineer, they want to put special for a measuring machine next to the machine, dedicated to it, which costs 50,000 pounds, to be able to measure up to 50,000 pounds. My project only cost 7,000 pounds, for the four of them, so forth, with the same form you put in the CNN. Cost me seven thousand pounds. I done them saving half a million. You see, like simple things can make big difference for people. And imagine how many of these machines they have. They implement the same thing and make them about four thousand a year. Continuously, every year. They were paying it. Now they are more flexible, they can they improve their customer service, customer request, they can turn it around much better. Because our process become more efficient. And this is the way you need to look at things. How we can add value. Value. Time is money. Unfortunately in Jordan so far, I see out of manufacturing, time is nothing. Always tomorrow. Tomorrow is for in Spanish money. Never come. Tomorrow, always tomorrow. And this is why we cannot compete with the people from the outside. I believe, strongly believe, our manufacturing in the district Jordan, if it's been built up correctly, we can compete with China and with India. Because our trailers come out from Jordan in 24 hours will be in the middle of Europe. Not five weeks by sea, big stones in the sea, the ship ground. Problem engine, whatever, we are by road. If you are logist logistically better positioned than all of them, and then our workforce in here is not very expensive. You can pay them the thousand pounds or two thousand pounds, well, it's still cheaper than the UK. Like the CNC operator, CNC operator, at Airbus, and this machine we're talking about. 
You know how much they, you get paid per hour? Twenty five an hour. We wear two thousand hours a year. What's the total? Forty thousand. And because you work on continental trip, five, uh, four days, two days, twelve hours, two and a half, twelve hours, and it's out six days. We get forty three premium. What are we going to do? Forty three percent of the total forty. How much? The director of the top of the area is not going to be And this is why they are productive. Okay? But I'm hoping with people like you, we can start the real motion, putting all these ideas together, and we start to build our future. And your children's future. And this is one of the things brought me back to Jordan. I got all this expertise. I was training the British Airbus World Zone, where the camera space. Like I done this exercise with a, a cup of tea in Thailand. I was there for three months. I increased the productivity by 92%. They are very high quality for the past few years. But the problem is the thing we put the tools together to make sense. <coughs> And the way I made the sense, I thought about it, I said, okay, how am I going to take them out from all these problems in engineering? No, ah, we are in Italy, but with a lot of tea. I made the cup of tea process, I let them use all the tools I want them to use, make them understand the benefit of it, which I hope by the end of the day, we'll have the same understanding of the benefit. And they went out to IG to the activity by 92%. Nothing is impossible. We can work at it. We can deliver it. We can do it. There are not any anymore. Actually, we are probably more clever than a lot of people around us as a nation. And history, and uh, if we go back Byzantine time, the hanging uh, gardens of Babylon. How they were out pumping the water at that time. How many centuries ago? They had the pump pumping that water so high. I know they took one apart, but I can understand how they pumped it. They couldn't put it back together. One of them is not worse. But we have engineering, we have a lot of things come from us in here. We were at the beginning of civilization. Why shouldn't we be the same at this moment in time? Better ourselves to be very well in the world. Why not? You tell me why. Everybody tell me government, politics, but you, culture, you, yourself, whatever you cannot go work. If you use the same culture, you teach it to others, and I do the same, we do the same, she do the same. By the time all of us are sitting from the same and she, our voice will come up together, and people will listen. Like I know a company telling about culture. I know a company that spent four million dinars on latest of the art machine show. They couldn't find one engineer in the country to operate the machine, to run it, to write a program to run the machine. And the government stopped them to bring any expertise from outside. In the end, the, the company went to the wall and the bank took the machine and sold it to get his money back. And I know the owner of that company. He won other company. But people do. But at that time, the people, they weren't thinking ahead. Now you tell me, what did you study? Where? Okay. Did you go on the machine? Uh, did you go in the application? You never done CNC programming machines? Yeah. You must, you must, uh, otherwise how can you do your work? Because you are industrial. But you see, you've done it, but you never concentrate on that technology. Yeah. Now, Cadby, what's Cadby doing? Have laser cutting, water jet, Five access uh, machining. But now, if you want to apply for them to work and you go and ask for CNC, you tell them the answer, do you think we'll give you a job? 
But this is the thing is, you need to know where's the lab and how we can go forward. I know there's a Japanese school here in Jordan. I don't know if they are in partnership with Jordan University or not. They teach you all these things of these machines. They have the of the art machine. Now it's like, uh, I don't know what the other Japanese, the Suzuki, I don't know what they call it. Very accurate, high precision machine. And they train people, they have a center. I don't know if you ever been there to see them yet. Yeah. Maybe we need to do some contact, us do something over there. Now, for example, we done engineering, we done instrumentation, measuring the micrometer, where Have we done aeronautic study on them? Now, how do you know that tool is the right tool for the job you do? If I, I have a diameter, I gave it vernier and micrometer. I tell you, prove to me which one is better to use. Depends on what? Yeah, but how, how we can find out the error? The error, how can you find the error? No, no, but how? Well, this is, if you know it, you know how and how. The whole idea is, is a study. You know that you got a diameter of 10, 10 millimeter. You have a tolerance on it of 100 millimeter. Now, which tool I need to use to measure it? What's my tool capability need to be? No, no, you need to do. You know what's R and R study? R and R study is three people. They take ten measurements, the same two measurement tool, and the same components. Because I once I went to our university, I started to still using the old one. Now we have to I said to them, God, we throw this in the bin. Because inaccuracy, it's not the tool. Who is accurate? Inaccuracy, me and you, because my eyesight is different than yours. We can use backwards. Now, if I'm looking to control 100 micro, 100 micro it's mean my tool to repeat within the tenth of the tolerance, which is 10 micro. So now, if you go read a micrometer, Usually, the repeating of the tool to the watch and a micro or the micro. We can go higher than that and if you go to CMM or laser beam, so we can get to know exactly the dimension. For every different type, there's different tool, different way of doing it. But you need to be able, as an engineer, when someone tells you I want to measure something, you should be able to go and select the right tool. Doing this R and R study, maybe we need to do a workshop on that. We have to. Yes, we can. Sorry, I thought you were talking, so I'm passionate about this.